This is a uh, stars aligning story <laughs> and how I sneaked myself into an opportunity and made me say an immediate yes. You know, you can read it, it's a title, you know, it's a giveaway, but this needs some backstory and I'm sorry if this is a long one. Sometime early 2017, I was at a good friend's house, Ken Laput. You might have seen him in this vlog. We were talking about goals, dreams, and whatnot, and how he got to where he is right now. For those of you who don't know, Ken is an OG, batch 2009 of legit status. And now he's one of the dominating dance coaches in the local hip hop scene. He's been winning uh, competitions left and right. Pretty big deal, diba. Right? I was in his room, tapos. Sa room niya dati, there were post-its everywhere with, I don't know, I guess some reminders and some quotes. Everywhere you looked, his door, his closet, his bed, his shelf, his table, lahat, it's everywhere. A bunch of reminders for him, I guess for his day-to-day uh, -day routine. Well, this guy is very uh, motivated for some reason. Normally, I wondered, how? This guy loves reading books and he was actually more than willing to lend me this one book. Intentional Living by John C. Maxwell. Now, if you'd know me well, hindi talaga ako mahilig magbasa ng mga libro. But after reading this book, it really helped me change a lot of my habits and my outlook in a lot of aspects in life. It helped me distinguish the difference between living a relevant life and living a significant life. That shit hit hard. <laughs> At the time, never ko pat narinig yung pangalan ni John Maxwell, but after reading that book, I looked more into him. I I got so immersed na naging genuine fan na niya ako. I'd watch videos of him. I listened to his podcasts. I wished I could meet this guy one day. My mom also gave me this book, Make Today Count, also by John Maxwell. This one's about being accountable to your day-to-day -day life. This one really helped me out on my everyday tasks as well as making the most of my everyday. Fast forward to April 9 of last year, 2019. My friend yung mom ko, his name is Tito Christian, also my sister's godfather. He has been living in the States but he constantly travels the world to take photos. Very professional. I've seen his work. It's really good. I'll leave his um, Instagram and his website down below. He came here to visit and have lunch with my mom and of course, ako yung driver. On our way to his hotel, my mom kept talking about how he takes photos of this one author, but she couldn't remember the name. When we got to Tito Christian's hotel, as he approached the car, he was holding a bunch of books para irigalo kay mama. And these were the books. Yep. Putting two and two together, I realized that this man has been taking photos for John Maxwell sa convention niya in Orlando which was held twice a year. So during lunch, we were talking about his uh, his work, traveling, his dogs, and so on. Then I had this sudden urge to pick up my phone and show him my work in photography. That was pretty ballsy of me. And then it was on the topic about the conventions in Orlando. I remember his exact words at that time. <laughs> oh, these are nice. Yeah, I can totally bring you in as a photographer. Do you want to go? Without hesitation, then and there, I gave a clear and loud yes. I wasn't looking at my calendar. I didn't worry about my schedule and whatnot. Couple <laughs> mga boy. But I gotta tell you, even I wasn't proud of how I presented myself to him. But he was such a chill guy. He was so down to earth. He was easy to talk to. And I felt comfortable. And now for the main part of the story, the trip. I'm really sorry for that very long backstory. I just felt like it was relevant to share it to you guys. I didn't really take a lot of videos because it's so busy na in time na yun, but let's have a look through of some of the videos that I took from a year ago. My flight was August 21, 2019. It's been a week since I got back from HHI 2019. And I'm na naman ako. You could have just stayed there. It's only been a Yeah, shut up. I know. Okay, it was a mistake. So I took three flights. The first one going to Taipei, the second one going to San Francisco, and the third one was going to Orlando. First flight going to Taipei. Thank you. Thank you. 
So I landed in Taipei and I wasn't really sure what I'm going to do. If I'm going to be completely honest, I have no clue where I'm going. They only gave me one boarding pass and I thought that was to be used to every flight. Apparently, not. You had to recheck in once you got to Taipei because ibang ibang airline yung sasakyan ko. These were the shenanigans that happened. Alright, medyo may problema ako. No? Kailangan ko daw pala i-recheck in yung luggage ko kasi magta-transfer ako ng a complete different flight. So, na-miss ko yun. Now, hindi ko alam ko saan napunta. What the fuck? I love that the people in the airport of Taipei were so accommodating. They helped me get to wherever I need to go kasi ang layo ng gap na mga kailangan ko puntahan eh. Uh, so far, so good. Just crossed the immigration. I'm gonna get my luggage now. Hopefully, nandito pa siya. Pero hindi ko alam kung alin. Yikes. Eva, 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 Eva Airline. Shit! Ayun. <laughs> Ayun yung luggage ko. <laughs> Tignan nyo to. Ayun. Mag-isa na lang siya. That's mine. That's mine. Yes. I got my luggage. Ngayon, kailangan ko mag-check in ulit. Buti na lang guys, 3 hours in layover ko. Oh, I can't believe that happened. Sobrang layo kasi ng gate. So doon na ako dumiretso. At kailangan ko bumalik. Asan yung lakad parang buong SM Sky Garden? Alright. Okay, so just go right around the A40 or A50. Okay? Alright, thank you. Enjoy the trip. Bye bye. See you. Thank you. At nagbabalik ako dito papunta sa gate. Kung saan ako 1 hour ago. 1 hour ago na. 2 hours ago na pala. So okay na lahat. Yung 3 hours na layover ko naging 45 minutes na lang dahil sa mga ganap. But I'm not complaining at least napaikli yung at yung, yung kit na to. <laughs> I'm not complaining at least may nagawa ako at nagawa ko siya ng tama. Ngayon, I'm just looking for something to eat kasi 11 hours flight from here Taipei to San Francisco. That's my plane right there. Five minutes before my boarding, so five now. It was finally time for me to board United Airlines going to San Francisco. Thank you. Thank you. I was just lucky enough na nakatulog ako ng buong 11 hours nitong flight na to to San Francisco. Otherwise, you know, I would be so tired. Safe to say that was the calm before the shit storm that was San Francisco International Airport. <laughs> Touchdown San Francisco. So what happened was, I was very chill, we only had an hour, well to be more exact, it was a 48 minute layover. During that immigration line, I felt so uneasy and I had no one to talk to, no one to rant to, kasi sobrang tagal nung line. And there were, there were officers in every cubicle, I think, cubicle? There were officers in every cubicle in the line, but the line took so long. Keep in mind that I only had 48 minutes of layover to my connecting flight. The line took two hours. And it wasn't because of a technical difficulty. It wasn't because there were so many people. Actually, dumami yung tao kasi sobrang bagal ng pila. And finally, when I got through to the officer, it was just the most annoying thing. No, don't worry. The, the guy was cool. They were just slow. They were just taking their time. Everyone was rushing. Everyone was pissed. But these officers were just so slow they were like purpose of staying in the united states where are you off to that was a bad impression but you, you get the idea they weren't they didn't have a sense of urgency that time and uh that pissed a lot of people off sobrang tagal na immigration two hours ako na sa immigration ah, transfers tapos hindi ko alam kung maabot ako sa expect actually take off time is 8 33 and it's already 8 40 so takbo 
we go. So, yun yung boarding pass mo. As you can see, there's no gate assignment yet kasi you're not leaving till 12.45 ng tanghali. Right now, it's only 9 o'clock. Alright. Okay. Thank you okay, so much. Right, Thanks in line, And lo and behold, my 48-minute layover turned into 5 hours. So, I missed my flight going to Orlando but they helped me rebook wala akong binayarang iba because it wasn't my fault and now I have 5 hours waiting time okay waiting time thank you thank you and finally after a few hours of flight I landed in Orlando to Orlando where the local time is 9.34 p.m. We truly appreciate your business and we hope you've enjoyed your flight. We hope to see you again soon. Thank God. After 32 hours of traveling, I'm finally in Orlando. Ligun ligun na ako. Yo na. And then I was just off to the BNB. Finally, at the BNB after more than 30 hours of travel. Ay, yun naman na maligo ako. Sobrang ikrigisi pa naman ako. <laughs> maligo na ako and uh, see you tomorrow. So the next day, we went to the hotel where the convention was going to be held and I met the rest of the team. And I'm not lying when I say this, but the people in this team were some of the coolest people I ever met in my life. As in, sobrang fun lang. Everyone was just chill. Everyone had everything under control and it wasn't a hassle to work with everyone. And oh my god, the hotel was insane. <laughs> I wish we stayed there actually, but we stayed in a BNB &B not too far from the hotel. So we had a meeting, we assigned the roles for each one. Siempre na intimidate ako because I was only using this camera, the Canon M50, and everyone had one DXs, uh, an advanced Sony, whatever. Uh, I just felt so small. <laughs> But it was cool, I got to use some of their cameras as well. And then we just had a lunch, we got to know each other a little more. It's funny because I actually have a lot in common with a lot of these guys. I've gotten to be close with them and we all kept in touch to this day. So the day after that was actually the first part of the convention. Like I said, I didn't really get to film a lot of videos but I got to snap a couple of snippets. Because it's so busy, everywhere you go I was just like click 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 click. I'm not even exaggerating, that's how it went. But despite being busy all the time, Time, we actually had a lot of fun. We still talk about a lot of shit. I've never been to this kind of setup. I've never been to a corporate or formal convention. You know, it was just like any other international gathering that I've been to. HHI to be more specific. Halos ganito rin yung setup nila. You know, everyone was there from a lot of countries. These were a mix of entrepreneurs, business people, you know, just people who are so eager to work. So we're just all busy taking photos, printing the photos and whatnot. And uh, there was this one time, I was just chilling in our main corner and Will, he's kind of the right-hand man of Tito Christian, he called me up and, and he said, hey, you wanna see the opening? And I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, come, come with me. And then he brought me to the main ballroom where the main event happens all the talks all the activities were there and uh, I was I was just at the side I was just watching but then I realized <laughs> and I got close to the stage like really close to the stage I almost forgot why I was so excited for this trip excited lang ako mag take ng photos but then I forgot why I was so excited about this trip and then it dawned on me. I was finally able to see John Maxwell. And then, please welcome to the stage your friend and mine, John Maxwell. Now I'm, I'm by the stage. He's on the stage. I'm talking right now. By the one. Yeah. 
John Maxwell on stage. I remember being so excited at that time. I felt like I saw a, a celebrity or a singer that I really admire. So yeah, that was cool. The other days went by really fast. We were all busy. We were still taking photos. Click, 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 click. Print, 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 print. That's all what's happening. It sounds boring, pero sobrang fun ya, actually. I, I'm excited for the next one. <laughs> 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 so one of the most unexpected things that happened to me the whole week we were there at the convention was this. One afternoon, I was just chilling sa corner namin, and then comrade, he goes, Hey, you wanna come shoot the wolf? And I was like, what? Do you want to see the wolf? And I'm like, what do you mean wolf? And another guy from our team, Richard, he was with us that time. He was like, Wolf of Wall Street, come on, join us. Whoa, wait, hold up. I did not expect this actually. The actual Wolf of Wall Street was there. <laughs> Jordan Belfort was there. Not Leonardo DiCaprio, Jordan Belfort. The Wolf of Wall Street was there. I have to whisper because I can't be so loud. They brought me to this one room. Tapping in a Dan Dice like that. Let's just shoot this guy. And then I did. I brought out the camera. And then it was Jordan Belfort. The Wolf of Wall Street. And I'm gonna show you guys. I think he was only there for a day to give some talks about sales and then people had another photo op with him and so did your boy <laughs> here's me fanboying yo i just got a picture with jordan bell for it it's crazy <laughs> And after such a busy week, the convention has finally concluded and it was one of the most fun weeks of my life. Last day na man, last push, we're selling the prints, let's check on the guys. Sorry, what's happening here is that we actually printed a lot of photos, people paid for their photos, but a lot of them weren't claimed. So this is us just goofing around, letting people know that their photos are available at our new corner, going to the exit. Of course, I also got a photo with John Maxwell himself. And I also got a signed book. I think about the tapas. Actually, I'm gonna get back into it. I'm gonna start from the top and then uh, I'm gonna read it through quarantine. And yeah, that was uh, my first time in the International Maxwell's Convention. At least I think that was the name of the convention. <laughs> and then I was off to New York. <sighs> Orlando Airport on my way to New York now. Now in Orlando, convention was great, and now for the next adventure. Two weeks in New York. Yeah, that's it. Kind of now. I have 45 minutes before boarding. So I'm gonna you. To be honest, in my lifetime, in my lifestyle, I wasn't expecting anything like this to happen. The moral of the story is that when an opportunity presents itself, you make a split-second game of pros and cons in your head to give an immediate answer. You can't be too impulsive but you should know what that opportunity means to you. Is it good for your growth? Are you just taking advantage of the situation? Is it necessary? Can you afford it? Afford meaning money and time. All of these played through my head when I was asked when I could go and I tell you it was worth it. We were supposed to go back this March but uh pandemic and also this August like right now I, I would be in I would be in Orlando right now but pandemic but God willing when all this is over I will see those guys again and you will have a lot of fun again and we'll get to do a lot of this shit and that's it for this video guys uh, thank you for watching if you like this video please leave a like and you know comment down below uh, if you have any questions of what else went down you know just let me know put it down in the comments whatever and uh please subscribe it doesn't hurt to click that red button that says subscribe down there so yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace oh and also full circle we were actually called photo ninjas <laughs> and full circle because i call myself the off-duty ninja <laughs> just a fun little touch all right see you guys